Hello and welcome to Sonoma. This is one of our absolute dream destinations in California, also known as wine country. We are going to be celebrating Chloe's birthday here, we're going to be doing some wine tasting and exploring all of that this beautiful place has to offer. Enjoy! Whole Foods. We're not quite at the Airbnb yet, but we've done Chloe's done a 50 minute drive. How'd you, how do you feel? I feel like just to be honest, I just feel like proud of myself. You should do, honestly, just you've done because, so well. Just because like I just threw myself in, I was quite out of my comfort zone. And I haven't really like You haven't driven in driven, three months. Yeah, for ages and I drive like a small car at home, and this is much bigger than my car. It's like a long. It's quite nice actually, but yeah, um, yeah we did it, and uh, you did it. I did it. Six lane motorway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well then. No, did. I feel like I, I got my confidence within like 15 minutes or so. I would say. Oh, I'm anyway, really, really pleased with you. It's boiling hot in Sonoma. It's fucking grey so in there. It looks it. so beautiful. This is just a car park, but wow. There we've got a pool. I have made bruschetta and we've also got this massive pot of like olives and antipasti stuff like that. Mm. Good sweet pepper. So good. Try a bruschetta please baby. Okay. This one is mine. Is it a bit crispy? No. Is it good? It's Perfect. As Louis would say, bellissimo. How did you get on? As you get on to a lighter. Huh? Just how did you get on to a lighter? Like, just clambered up? Yeah, oh, I put my bum on. Is that how you get on? Yeah. Really? Like and that? then fling myself around, my legs around. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To buy a bottle of wine, you get to taste all the different wines first, and they don't charge you for it. So <laughs> we're slightly wibbly, and we've just gone Lily through. A... I'm, I'm oh yeah, Chloe's I'm driving. driving. <laughs> I'm slightly wibbly. Sorry, clearly that is my wibbliness speaking. And we had a lovely little brunch thing, didn't we as well? Yeah. So now, I already love it. Happy birthday, according to English time. It's the day before here, however, you are now officially 26. Fucking hell, I'm with an old woman. Quite a cool day plan, don't we? 
Yes, we do indeed. I tried to keep this thing that we're about to do now a surprise, and I also tried to keep where we're going for dinner a surprise. However, I failed miserably. Usually I'm quite good with surprises, and it's Chloe who cannot keep surprises, but I just slipped up completely. <laughs> <laughs> right now we are heading to an animal sanctuary where we're going to spend two hours basically cuddling sheep and pigs and goats and chickens and, and turkeys and turkeys and all sorts of cute farm animals which have been rescued and then after that we are going wine tasting at a wine a vineyard which does like vegan wines and vegan charcuterie boards and stuff and later on we are going to the Fairmont Hotel in Sonoma for dinner where they have said they can make us our own like special vegan dinner don't know what it'll be but they've just assured me that they can make something nice and vegan for us so that is today yeah it's gonna be really fun also for some reason my chair is like really really low down and i can't move it any higher up so not only is am i the passenger i also look like chloe's child <laughs> whilst we drive this car for the next month so that's fun I'm happy to take pictures of you guys together if you want. Hey, Are the chickens like happy to be touched as well? Um, depends on the chicken, I would okay. say. This lady right here, she doesn't have a name yet. She's one of our newest rescues. Oh, I've never seen such small pigs either. <laughs> yeah, they are potbelly pigs, and these guys are still pretty young. They're going to be a year old on August 16th. So. Oh, the Leo is like me. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to be celebrating their birthday pretty soon. And this is mom right here, so we'll just make sure to give her hey. space. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. This lady oh. loves to jump on everybody, like fly off the ground on your oh. floor. That's actually kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Parker. Animals versus, um, we'll see like down the road, the much larger pigs that were bred for the meat industry. Um, unfortunately, you know, there was that big mini pig, teacup pig trend yeah. on the internet a few years ago, so... <laughs> Okay. Here, so they're just very comfortable around humans. Uh, hopefully, they won't know anything. Once you My favorite thing about being <laughs> over. Hey, you want a protective chicken idea? <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, she climbs on top. She loves climbing on yeah. the That age, they're still peeping like chicks. So when we rescue chickens right before they're sent to slaughter, they still sound like babies because they're only six weeks old. But they've just been bred to have these huge mutated bodies of adults. Wow. So that's why we have separate chicken groups, just because these girls, they want to keep the weight off. Those girls, they want to keep the weight on. Yeah. The egg laying takes a big toll on their bodies. The carousel that they're next. Sanctuaries have pigs that are like 900,000 pounds. These guys are about 500 pounds, so they can get a lot bigger than this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Betty actually has a rock collection going on. You can see um, some of her rocks in the barn over there. When they're close together like this, I like want to get them belly rubs, but I notice they like, kick their legs out uh -huh. when you cut their bellies, and then they might like press their legs against each other. Having a digging project over here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, there you go. Hey, there you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Benjamin is here with his mom, Honey, the son with the dark face, so they're always together. And the younger ones are nice. They like to kind of work for their food and have puzzles that they have to figure out, so um, we have to like 
like get the hay out of the yeah. holes and it gets harder as they go. Hello. Hello. Hi Hannah. This is Hannah. This is Hannah. 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 Oh, I'm called Louie as well. Hello. Oh, there you go. Hey. Didn't think about that. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Seymour loves to be petted all over his person. Hey. <laughs> How cute are you? Chico. Hi, Chico. Chico. Well, if he wants to eat, then I don't want to yeah. disturb him. <laughs> Oh, hello. Start pecking at you to continue. Really? Oh, maybe that's like dogs. is the finest Bordeaux from the grapes of the Highwayman Vineyard in Napa Valley. It is rather delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep sniff on the nose, you will detect notes of cherry and some robust flavours. <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm going to come and swim towards you. Are you going to share the wine? Yeah, I've almost finished the wine. Bring me my wine, sir. Come on, eh? No, you get get yourself here. <laughs> wine thief. I am the wine thief. Come and get it if you can. <laughs> Come and get it. Lean in, lean in. Ooh. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Very similar. And 
that is the end of our Sonoma video. We are currently driving up to Lake Tahoe. So next week we have a really, really cool video in Lake Tahoe, Yosemite and Sequoia National Forest. But we absolutely loved Sonoma, didn't we? It was just yeah, an incredible like, place. Just generally, Sonoma and Napa Valley were definitely places we want to go back to. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Bye! Bye.